Hey, the Cotton Bowl Friday, January 6th is an important game. Uh, it's between Arkansas and Kansas State, and it's the only SEC Big 12 matchup, number one. And uh, the SEC and the Big 12 uh, were the two best conferences this year. I mean, you could argue it, but from top to bottom, uh, the SEC and the Big 12 were the two best conferences, just based on uh, depth, and also they have the best teams at the top, Alabama, LSU, and Arkansas, uh, Oklahoma State, Oklahoma, Kansas State, um, and the two separate ones. So the matchup between Arkansas and Kansas State, which is tomorrow night in the Cotton Bowl, is very important. First of all, if you look at the uh, conference standings in the bowl game so far, how each conference is doing record-wise in all the bowl games, right now the Big 12 is 6-1, and one, and the SEC is 4-2. Um, so if Arkansas wins, it's a big plus for the SEC, because then the SEC would be 5-2, the Big 12 will be 6-2, and two, uh, and then Alabama and LSU will play, so the SEC would get a win and a loss. So if Arkansas wins, they pretty much both are a wash. They both would have two losses. Or the, the SEC would have three losses, and the Big 12 would have two losses, but one of the SEC losses will be to an SEC team, so both would pretty much have only two losses. But if the or if Kansas State wins, then the Big 12 would go 7-1, and one, and the SEC would go four and three and then five and four once national championship is played uh, and the, there's a few things to look at rec in terms of that first of all I think that if Alabama and LSU weren't playing each other I think that uh, they would each win so uh, the SEC would have one fewer loss and one more additional win um, because let's say Alabama was in the Sugar Bowl they would have won the Sugar Bowl and then I think LSU would have beat whoever wins the national championship. Probably would have been Oklahoma State. And then also, two of the teams in the, that got wins in the Big 12, Texas A&M and Missouri, will be in the SEC next year. Um, so you, they should still count as Big 12 wins because they were in the Big 12 this year. So you have to look at this year, what was the best conference, but they will be in the SEC next year. So in a way, you can not count those as SEC wins. Um, and just like that, another thing to look at, though, is that West Virginia and TCU will both be in the Big 12, and they both won their bowl game. So the, S so the Big 12 really is 6-1, and one, even if you take away Texas A&M and Missouri, because then they add in uh, West Virginia and TCU. And West Virginia had that huge win against Clemson, so that... Um, so I think that that West Virginia win goes to the Big East, but if you do take away Texas A&M and Missouri, then you can add in the West Virginia and TC win for the Big 12. So there's, I personally think that there's a lot of bragging rights on the line. Um, if you look at the national championship debate, um, the it was who should get in as the number two spot, Alabama or Oklahoma State. Um, while Alabama in the regular season played and beat Arkansas, uh, Oklahoma State played and beat Kansas State. So the fact that Arkansas and Kansas State are playing it um, should be interesting. Uh, um, as for the game itself, it should be a really interesting game. As I said in the previous uh, video, it they kind of take on a reversal these two teams because Arkansas really plays like a Big 12 team and Kansas State kind of plays like an SEC team. Um, reason I say that is because Arkansas is their passing team with Tyler Wilson. They have a great receiving core. They have really four or five really good receivers. They line up in shotgun a lot. They throw it around the field, and they don't play uh, or they don't have a really really good defense. And so, um, in that sense of having a passing offense with great receivers and a good quarterback, they're like a Big 12 team. And Kansas State is kind of like an SEC team. They're kind of tough, physical. Um, they have a running game. Their quarterback, Colin Klein, uh, who's a good player, is uh, big and physical, and he, they do a lot of quarterback runs. Um, so they kind of take on a conference role reversal, uh, if that makes sense. Um, so it should be a good game. Like I said, bragging rights are on the line between the SEC and the Big 12. 
Uh, if Arkansas wins, then each conference will have two losses. But if the Kansas State wins, then the Big 12 will have one loss, and the SEC will have three losses. So it's a big game. Um, I'll, and I'll make a prediction. I think that Arkansas will win. Um, I think they will because they're all they'll be able to score more than Kansas State. I think that Kansas State's offense isn't the greatest. Colin Klein is a good player, but um, they don't score a ton. Um, it, it should be a great game. Though. I'm really looking forward to it. It's on Fox uh, Friday night. Uh, I think it's the only bull game that Fox has. Fox used to have all the BCS games. Um, where all the BCS games except the Rose Bowl, I think uh, ESPN has always had the Rose Bowl. But um, so it sh should be a really good game. Definitely pay attention to it. And a, a lot, of, it has a lot of meaning outside of the game itself. Um, because if you're looking at um, next year, uh, it could affect rankings and it could affect how people and voters, the uh, Harris Poll AP and coaches, how they view these two conferences going into next year. Because it's the only SEC and Big 12 matchup this year in bowl games. Um, so thanks for watching and definitely pay attention to this game because it's an important one. Thanks.